Hey everyone, welcome to episode 2 of the Tech News. My name is Karthik, and today we're going to be diving into a topic that is already touching almost everything we do, artificial intelligence. That's right. Have you ever guys thought about how AI is the future concept of the technology? But in truth, it's already reshaping our daily lives. From the moment we wake up and the moment we go back to bed, AI is quietly at work. In this episode, we're going to be talking about what AI does in our everyday life, how does it impact us, I'll give you with real statistics there, some surprising places it shows up that we never knew it was there, and what you as a listener should keep in mind. So let's get started. First of all, what do we mean when AI is in our everyday life? Well, many people might think a conjure image of self-driving cars or futuristic robots, but the reality is far broader and already present. Example would be like a Tesla. A Tesla can drive itself depending on what direction you're taking. It's a full FSD, which means full self-driving. Now, Elon also wants to bring in a futuristic robot. Now, if you think of futuristic robot, you might think of iRobot from a Will Smith movie. That's how Elon is looking at bringing Optimus into our daily life. Basically, what it does is that AI robot will do everything what a human can do. And if you want to know more information on that, all you have to do is just go on tesla.com and you'll find the information out there. So here's the example I want to provide you guys. According to one survey of 6,000 consumer, only 33% of people believe that they have used AI. From a gallupoll.com research, they found that nearly all Americans use products that involve AI features, but 64% didn't even know about it. Pew's research shows that adults at 27% reports interacting with AI almost constantly or several times a day. So what are some of those everyday interactions? Well, let's start with virtual assistant. Voice search. If we tell Siri, what's the weather like? Siri will reply back how the weather is like. And then you have the smart speakers. Smart speakers are basically like, hey, Alexa, play this song for me in my playlist. Alexa will play that. When you're relaxing, you're probably watching Netflix, right? So when you watch Netflix, you're asking, let's say Wednesday. You're watching Wednesday and you finished a whole season. What happens after that? Netflix will suggest you to watch Adam's Family. Or you're watching Amazon Prime and you see Jack Reacher's show. You finish all that season. It will recommend that you watch a Tom Clancy show. That's AI recommendation for the type of shows you watch or movies. Navigation and traffic apps that adjust routes based on current condition. For example, when I leave my house and go to the office, I see that there's traffic or accidents. Google Maps will tell me, hey, why don't you take the alternate route and save 10 to 15 minutes? That's basically AI. But keep in mind, if you keep doing that again and again and again, that alternate route will become your permanent route because that's the way AI looks at how you basically drive to your work. Email spam filters, fraud detection systems are another type of AI system. Basically what it does is if you have a junk email, spams that out. And the other option is you have a phishing email, which you can send it as a spam filter. If you go on a website and you see a lower right hand box and there's no customer service on the phone and you have a chat box, that chat box you can talk to because it's 24 by 7. It will give you any response that you're looking for. So the point is, even if you don't say I used AI today, chances are you already did. So where does it show up in our daily lives? Let's walk through a few key domains where AI is already having measurable impact and sprinkles in some stats. Let's start with work and productivity. One report says that more than half of Americans, let's say 
have used AI in the past six months. In one AI usage statistics breakdown, among 45% of AI respond to text or email, 43% to answer financial questions, or 38% of people who are looking to plan a travel. When you want to generate an image, consumers will always look at generating images. And here's the thing. Over 15 billion AI images have been created since 2022. That's about 34 million AI images that are generated on everyday basis. This means even things like ads, marketing visuals, social media graphics are being created, or at least it's being assisted by an AI. When it comes to a healthcare industry, education, or personal assistance, that's all AI because AI is being applied to create your personalized learning plan in education and assist diagnostic in healthcare. According to Pew's research, 59% of U.S. adults say that they have little or no control over how AI is being used in their lives. So yes, it's everywhere, but we may not always feel when we are in a driver's seat. Here's the impact, good, surprising, and challenging of AI. AI's potential to boost productivity frees us from routine tasks and enables creativity, for example, personal education or smarter healthcare, like I said before. Here's a surprising thing that gets me worked up. Many people don't realize that they're using AI. That's 64% figure again. It's embedded so deeply that the lines between normal tech use and AI use is blurred. The challenges and caution of using an AI is that many people don't feel that they have control over use of AI. My problem is here. Where is the privacy? What kind of data are they using? What algorithm is being used? For what purpose are we playing into this AI? So what does this mean to you on your day-to-day -day basis? Well, here's the thing. Be aware of your tools. Recognize that when you ask your phone for directions, when you filter your spam, when you get a product recommendation, that's AI behind it. So what do we need to do? Leverage your opportunities. If you're working, think about how AI can assist you in a mundane task so you can focus on higher impact work. If you're learning, AI powered personalized learning could help you move faster or fill your gaps. So that basically means there are classes out there you guys can take to understand how AI works. It's just a matter of time when we wanna do it. If you wanna be creative, then we can use the image generator to open up the new tools for possibilities. Let me ask you a question. Who owns the data of AI? What rights do we have? And are these decisions being transparent to us? With uneven adoption, understand your own comfort levels and skills. Some people use AI daily, others not at all. So stay informed about the bias, fairness, privacy, and regulations because these increasingly affects all of us. AI is evolving. The tools are becoming more powerful, more accessible. Like ChatGPT, when you say generate a image and it will generate the same image that you want, either in animated, 3D, cinematic, or any other type of images background you want. All right, so we covered all of these materials. What AI does in our everyday life looks like where it is already at work, the real stats behind it, and how we can navigate through it. AI isn't so far, it's already here. It's many things, helpful, invisible, powerful, sometimes a peak. The more you recognize how it's woven into our daily life, the better you can use it and question it. Thank you for tuning into the Tech News.
If you enjoyed this episode, subscribe to YouTube, leave a review on Spotify, follow us on Facebook page, and remember, technology changes fast, but you're not powerless in the story.